Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another sick day today. The boy is getting better. Sick days are literally just me rambling. You know, over the past week of being sick, right? I've noticed that your mood is genuinely or rather generally dependent on your thoughts. And it's like you can change your mood just like that. Like just like this. It's easier to become sad than it is to become happy. Because like once you start thinking positive thoughts, there's like a laggy effect. So you're not just immediately going to be like, ah. But they'll just be like, you know, you think, let's say your mood is here. You think a positive thought and your mood is here. And it's like the more you think, the more you think, the more you think. And then eventually you're just like, ah, you know what? Life isn't that bad. That's a funny thing. One negative thought can take you from here down here. So yeah, I've just noticed that our mood is dependent on thoughts and we can control our mood. Because I was in exercise in that control last week. I was just like, ah, I'm sick. There was a day where I thought I was going to die. Like before I went to sleep, I just prayed and I made my peace with God. And I was just like, ish, God, today's the last day and it was a good life. But throughout that time, I got into this, you know, this, this frame of mind so negative like every thought like uh, let's say if i had 10 thoughts right seven were negative two were neutral one was hmm, i wonder what i want to eat next like <laughs> so i got into a place where i kind of lost hope and then i realized that what the only reason i'm in this place is because of my thoughts that's the only reason so i was like you know let me just forcefully think positive things and not even like you know you sometimes when people are like positive thinking they'll just think like affirmations and they'll think that whoever's telling them to think positive thoughts, it's like, oh, I say I'm a billionaire. You're not. But like, you know, a positive thought, like, you know, today's a good day. Because if you truly tell yourself today's a good day, you'll find the reason why today's a good day. Like today's a, look, I'm sitting outside. I'm sitting outside. I know that isn't a lot, but there were three days where it's like I couldn't even walk. So sitting outside to me is a big deal. So... Yeah. It's not that I was sad for no reason last week. I wasn't even that sad. I just got into a negative I like, I just got into a negative space. But I got into a negative space for no reason. You could say that it's because I was sick, but that's no reason to like allow yourself to get into a negative space. Because sicknesses they come and go and if it doesn't go then it means you'll die. So it's like because <laughs> like this morning when i woke up i stayed in bed too long so i had that you know when you when you stay in bed too long and you have that um that feeling that if i stay in bed for a bit longer i'm going to feel going to feel bad so i i could feel myself getting into that state i didn't get it i didn't even get out of bed to get out of that state I just started thinking constructive thoughts constructive thoughts constructive thoughts you know and yeah why am i you know this thing hasn't been centered the whole time but i don't care it doesn't really matter see originally you were you were you were pronounce it properly to go originally i wasn't planning on adding more to that video it's going to be a bit of a short one Throughout that week, right, or that week where I got myself in a negative frame of mind, I realized something that actually made me very excited. Like, I was like, oh my goodness, this is the first time I'm hearing someone say this. And I know for a fact there's probably thousands of people who have already said it on the internet and they'll be like, ah, you're copying, you're copying, you're copying what I'm saying and taking credit for it. So I'm not going to take credit for it. I'll just say it's a thought that I got from God. And God may have given other people those thoughts or the same thoughts. But anyways... So we all know that it's bad to live in the past because if you live in the past you constantly focus on how things were on situations that you've been through you give your attention to how you were mistreated how you didn't have enough how you felt alone and because you're giving because you are just constantly paying attention to that what you pay attention to grows so you start paying attention to so it's like you live the same life over and over and over again because you're naturally going to get into situations that are familiar, right? 
And what's familiar? Your past, the past that you didn't like. And even more so, like, if you're always living in the past, you can't even grow because you can't pay attention to the new things that are coming into your life, new ways in which you can grow. Right? So you've established that living in the past is bad. Living in the future also, like, completely in the future also is bad because you're always focusing oh i'm gonna do this when i have this i'm gonna do this all right oh, you know we're driving our g our mad black g wagons uh everyone's gonna be like oh look at look at what we've done right you talk and in every sentence it's when when this happens i'm gonna do that when that happens i'm gonna do this the most common word that you speak is when 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 but when never comes if that's all you focus on right that future will never come if you are never doing the things that will lead you to that place because all you're busy doing is when 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 this happens when that happens when that happens and i know it puts you in a good mood because it's like you can escape your current reality but you can only do that for so long until you're slapped in the face and you realize that ah oh, I wasn't escaping anything. We've said that to live in the future is bad, to live in the past is bad. But it's also bad to live in the present exclusively. Don't get too caught up in how things are today. Because if you exclusively focus on how things are today, you only focus on the present moment. You can Take yourself into a hole because let's say in the present moment you're trying to create a certain life for yourself. So there's certain things that you don't like. You'd be like, ah, flip, I don't have enough money. Ah, flip, I feel alone. Ah, flip, I don't like this, I don't like that, right? And because you're totally focused on the present moment, that's all you see. And that's all you will see. Because every moment, has within it eternity what i mean by that is all we have is the present moment and that's all we'll continue to have until we don't have it right you live in this state of of course you know things are going to end but you don't feel that ah, i know this is coming to an end so in every moment it's like there's forever in every moment and i don't know how to explain that as best to get you to understand but if all you are going to experience is right now. Then right now it doesn't end. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to explain that one. But the point is right. If you only focus on the present moment. You will only see what is present at that time. And a lot of the time what's present are things that we're trying to run away from. Things that we're trying to work. So that they aren't there in the future. And the dangerous thing about living exclusively in the present moment is you get caught up in how things are today and you forget that life can change. See, and if there's one thing you can bet on life to do, is to change. See, life is cyclical. If you're experiencing bad right now, there'll be a time when you're experiencing good. If you're experiencing good now, things can get worse. And there's nothing you can do to stop that. I found that the more we fight life, the more life beats us up. It's like Newton 2. I think it's Newton 2 or Newton 1. But anyways, one of Newton's laws is that there's an equal and opposite reaction to every action. And I think the same comes from life. There are going to be times in life where we will have circumstances that we don't particularly like. Right? You're going to be going through something that you don't like, you don't want it, like you're just hating it. And I found that for myself, when I fight those situations, somehow they get worse. Like, when you think it can't get worse and you start fighting life, you're like, you start throwing hands at life. You're just like, ew, hook, right? <laughs> life will hit you with an uppercut and you're like, damn, yeah, maybe I should have been content with just getting jabbed by life. So the more you try and fight how things are, the harder things will become right that was like a mini rant that i went on the point i was trying to make is that 
What point was I trying to make? Do you know what point I was trying to make? Because I don't. Oh yes, that life is cyclical. And it's always changing. It's never going to be the same. So, don't get too caught up in how things are today. Because tomorrow will bring a different thing. And of course you can say that, ah, but you're going to be present tomorrow. But the point is, if you're always focusing on how things are today, you forget that tomorrow is going to come. You forget that tomorrow could be different. You forget that you're working towards creating something better. So don't lose sight of the future. Don't forget to think about the future. I would say a good way of living is an 85% present moment, 14% future, 1% past. But that 1% past is like an asterisk next to it because sometimes you don't need to think about the past. But only think about the past when you still need to extract lessons from something that has happened. Because that's what I do a lot. The dominating question that I ask myself is, what can I learn from this? And if I haven't learned from a situation, it's like it stays in my head. Because I always like to learn something from everything. So I could be thinking about a small interaction that I had two months ago. But like, it's like, I haven't learned anything from it. And I, it's not a fixation on, I want to learn something from everything. But you know, you can just tell, or you can just feel in your core that, you know, I'm supposed to learn something from this situation. And I haven't learned anything. So yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just don't get too caught up on how things are today because you'll lose hope. You'll forget that things can actually change and things are going to change. You'll forget that you're working towards a future that's better. So accept things for how they are today, but also remember that there's a future that's coming. Also remember that things will change. And if you're experiencing bad times now, they will change for the better. If you're experiencing good, they can also change for the better. But they can also get a lot worse. But yeah, that's it for today. If you're watching up until this point, I really appreciate all of it. I appreciate you. And I hope that you learn something from this video. So anyways, I'll catch you. I hope you have a lovely, whenever you're watching this, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Cheers, mate.